Chris Farfoy. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. It's nice to see the members of opposite so happy that I'm taking a call on the Customs and Excise Joint Board of Management sharing another matters amendment bill. And uh, can I thank the Minister and the Chair for his brief synopsis of the bill. It has been some time uh, since it's been before the House and again for his uh, glowing praise of the smart gate uh, system. Uh, you know, it's a rare occasion when we talk about smart gate in the House, uh, so it's nice to hear some praise uh, around smart gate. Mr Chair, this is a bill uh, that uh, the opposition is supporting. Um, we think that uh, in this uh, day and age, and we've seen other um, uh, bills before the House in uh, recent days uh, uh, looking at, uh, at a time of increased technology and better technology that we should be uh, making sure that we can share information between agencies uh, to make sure that they can do the job of, uh, more effectively and efficiently. Um, and we think, uh, especially uh, uh, in the job and task of uh, policing our borders, um, that we should take... Uh, <laughs> take uh, take advantage of the increased uh, technology and make sure that we can uh, keep our international reputation of having a safe and secure border. Uh, Mr Chair, can I make sure, just make the, uh, the point again, that this bill um, is about the effectiveness... Uh, Susan, Mr Henry? It's all about border control. Border control. Yeah. Border control. You, they, let, they, let, they, they let you through. Someone let you back in, Mr Henry. So uh, uh, in terms of the data sharing between uh, MAF and Customs, uh, I'm sure you won't pop up on their radar. Uh, Mr Chair, um, effective, effectiveness and efficiency in being, uh, letting our Customs and uh, MAF agents do their job better uh, at the border is what this, um, uh, this bill uh, aims to do. Can I thank the Minister for responding to concerns uh, uh, that the Labour opposition had uh, in the previous uh, uh, um, uh, Parliament around uh, the sharing of information and the privacy of the information? I know that uh, my predecessor in the Customs Portfolio, Sir William Seal, certainly had some concerns when this um, uh, bill was introduced into the House into, uh, around the, the, the uh, provisions for uh, privacy, and uh, it's good to see that uh, some, some, uh, some changes have been made. Those, uh, uh, you know, one, for instance, is that the Privacy Commissioner will look at this uh, after five years to see if it's appropriate uh, uh, what level of information and what type of information uh, is being shared uh, between uh, um, these uh, border policing uh, agencies. Uh, can I also um, say, uh, Mr uh, Chair, uh, that uh, it's great that we're looking at making sure we can be more effective and efficient at the border, but we also must also have the, uh, suitable and adequate resources at the border uh, to make sure that uh, we can affect uh, some of the intelligence and some of the efficiencies that uh, we can get from the, um, these uh, new systems. Um, and uh, some of the noises made recently um, from the National Party, from the Government, around its uh, move to scale back numbers on, in the public service is a concern uh, when we're spending um, a significant amount of money to increase uh, intelligence and uh, maybe the, the Minister and the Chair might be able to co um, uh, clarify. In, in, in the first instance, it was about $75 million that was um, thought that this system was going to cost, and there was some suggestion that it might be uh, rise to around $200 million. Maybe the uh, Minister and the Chair might be able to... Um, uh, clarify that. But Mr Chair, going back to my earlier point, it is a concern around the noises that have been made uh, by the National Party. Uh, yeah, some of them may not have eaten, they're getting a bit ready. Um, uh, um, some of our concerns around some of the noises that have been made uh, by the National Party in terms of cutting uh, the public service as to whether we'll be able to take advantage of some of the efficiencies uh, that come from information sharing that may come around um, from this um, bill. Mr Chair, uh, we do have serious concerns around the level of resourcing, um, especially when uh, this is a party uh, in government that said in 2008 that it would cap and not cut the public service. Um, and over 2,000 jobs uh, went missing uh, over the last term of government. So we, we, we do have serious concerns around the ability for the government to implement uh, some of the efficiencies and the effectiveness uh, that we may benefit uh, from this bill and uh, the uh, investment in uh, better technology um, if we don't have the people on the ground, the people um, at our borders to make sure that we can um, uh, benefit from, uh, from the, the move that is in um, this bill. Mr Chair, also um, it's good to see some changes around uh, the regulation, power, regulation making powers uh, that the Minister may have. It's uh, good to see he's going to have to consult with the agencies concerned uh, in this information sharing uh, exercise uh, before he um, expands the amount or the type of information uh, 
uh, that these um, uh, agencies can share. And also there's a provision within this bill to make sure that, again, uh, the Privacy Commissioner is... Uh, Privacy Commissioner has talked to you. Mr Chair. Uh, I started to say T, which means I'm going to give the call to Tim McEnroe. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a silent T. Tim McEnroe. 